Hey everyone, as you can see, I've been keeping my empty spools of filament, along with my failed prints, in hopes of finding a better use for them. But alas, it's now been four years and I'm running out of space and time to actually get rid of them or do anything with them. So they're probably going to end up on a landfill. You can see that after 3D printing for this long, it really does lead to a lot of empty spools. So much, in fact, that it could fill up an entire box and just keeps going. This is why, out of these two spools, these cardboard ones are starting to become my favorite, even if this one by Elegoo doesn't entirely seem like cardboard. Yeah, it would not burn. Not sure why. But it sure does work a lot better and makes you feel a little better about getting rid of them all compared to these plastic ones, which are just solid hunks of plastic, which I feel like would be somewhat expensive to produce with all the plastic that is used in it. It almost is a decent chunk of the filament that you would actually get in the first place. So yeah, it makes you feel a little bit more iffy about them. And you can just see how many of them there are. So that's definitely a step in the right direction, particularly for spools, as these spools are now getting a little bit better to get rid of and aren't going to be solid plastic. That definitely does not account for all of the filament scraps that I have right here. There's definitely been some good efforts, as shown by Stefan over at CNC Kitchen, but alas, it hasn't quite happened all the way, at least at a consumer scale where we can actually afford it to get rid of all of them and turn them into useful prints instead of just failed ones that you normally happen to get on 3D printers. Also, even just prototypes. It would be nice to be able to recycle those prototypes back into a new print. That would be really cool. A bit disappointing, yes, but it is what it is. Ultimately, the point of this video is really just to show you how one person running a small-scale Etsy shop can create this many empty spools along with this many failed prints. Really just emphasizing why we need a more industrial solution versus the small-scale ones people have been creating that they reuse an empty spool by printing a whole much, which also uses more plastic <laughs> to create a shelf. While those are cool, we definitely need a better solution. Either way, thanks for watching this video and I'll leave you with some cool shots, or maybe not so cool shots, of all the filament and spools that were created over the last three years. Oh, and feel free to subscribe. Wink, wink, wink. I cannot wink. <laughs>